Keith. That Suns lethal offense bottled up. Can you take better care of the basketball? The lob into Wiggins. Following his own shot. Looney, a third opportunity. And the Warriors finally. That extra work paying off. Looney's not taking Andrew Wiggins ended up almost under the basket, but Looney's extra effort pays off. Jake Crowder catching two three. And so Crowder was only one of three in the first half, and you don't want him to start the Warriors. Well, the thing I love about the Suns, they've clinched the number one seed, and they're still going. They're keeping their foot down. The Pelicans play knocked down his big range of them. Team in this one. And the free throw down. Half games. They're going to be here at Chase Center, but uh, Dallas is in Utah. All TBD. Dallas is coming. Dallas won tonight. Gordon Poole on Paul. Let's Chris Paul fly by, sets his feet, and rams the three. Chris Paul had to commit to Clay. He couldn't help himself. He calls himself the boss man. Well, the boss man, the three-point shot. It's a place on a lot of rosters. Push it. Cool. Feet set. Three down. See, that's why you get out in transition. You don't want to go up against that. Not a lot of arc. And Crowder missing there. Bridges the rebound, Peyton right down the lane. Fucking. Okay. And Art back it down. Oh, cool. Setting up play, catching two, three. Jordan Poole is so great rejecting those screens. If you don't force it to him, it's just what they call it so late. I think you are correct, partner. <laughs> the crowd is going to let him hear it. They're all the way in this game. Aiton rimming in the free throw. And Aiton is getting a little more assertive now. You can feel it. He's, he's got nine points and 11 rebounds. And they're trying to get him more involved. They're feeding him. I saw Leon Wood say the pole was on the spin. So I think that's exactly what you saw too, K. They're trying to let the big man eat. Well, the free throws are 18 to 8, and the fouls are 15 to 7. The Warriors are on the short end of both of those, so that's the issue. A little frustration as Wiggins gives the Dubs the lead. The Warriors are trying to go at 8 on this side. So Wiggins 12 and Poole 23. Need the third score to come along for the ride. Chris Paul with the Nowitzki. Rimmed it out, and the Wiggins the rebound. Andrews got seven boards. It's like a Steve match, too. That one deflected out of bounds Ooh. to Warrior Ball. Clay had the right idea. Devin Booker was cheating off of him and wasn't in between him and the basket. He tried to go back door. <laughs> Devin Booker just kind of swiped back. Luckily got a piece of the ball. Wiggins wing jumper. Way down and out. And then Draymond was shoved out of bounds. And Dray that was crazy. And Draymond is screaming right in Jay Crowder's direction. He's got the crowd all into it. They're liking what they see. Draymond, he is the heart and soul of this team. And he wears his emotions on his sleeve. One, two. I thought that was going in. <laughs> and then out. That is wild. Crowder knocked it away. Still loose to pull. He sets his feet for a three. There it is! 11 made threes for the Dubs. Poole's got 26 and the biggest lead of the night. Aiton traveled again. Well, see, the Warriors have all the momentum right now. Even when it seems like the Suns make a good hustle play, it goes right back to the Warriors. They're getting all the 50-50 balls. And you got one of the hottest Warriors with a wide open shot going around all kinds of time to line it up. You're working on the defensive side. You're getting deflections. Draymond's rotating over at the right time. And you're landing. Your laps are going in now. Jay Center comes alive. Five and a half left in the third. Phoenix takes time. They're holding the Suns at 34% shooting. And Clay Thompson soaring in to put the Warriors up. Nine made in Memphis. 
Well, they're sitting there with 11 made threes right now. That would definitely help. And they've stopped turning the ball over in the second half, which has made a huge difference. Trayvon Green stepped in nicely, helping the helper. Then sets the screen, Clay three, and out front iron. We talked about how good Phoenix has been in clutch games this year and crunch time games. Down seven is nothing for a team like the Suns when you won 61 games, eight in a row, seven in a row on the road. And they're just saying, hey, there's an eternity left in this game. That's why you can't get too excited. You've got on your run here. You gotta expect them to answer with a run of their own, or at least try to. I just love the way Draymond is playing, though. He's been talking, he's been outspoken, criticizing himself, saying he needs to play better, he wants to play better, he's gonna play better. And he's been lead by example. Defensively, the Warriors have been stellar. He's set the tone for the jump. You've got to be fair to him. He's missed nearly three months and 30 games. Exactly. And there's Draymond knocking that one away. And it touched Craig last. He's everywhere right now. So Porter and GP2 in. They were excellent in that first half. That pass, dangerous. And it was a high degree of difficulty. The Warriors come up empty. And the paint locked down. And then Booker clever with the left hand. Uh, DeAndre Ayton was actually posted up. Devin Booker didn't want to give it to him, so Ayton just made sure. It only makes Booker 3 of 14, though. We talked about how the Warriors have had a history of playing good defense against him. Yeah, Ayton made sure his defender couldn't get there. That one deflected away. So back-to-back -back turnovers. And that's the live ball ones as Steve Kerr 